Hi students. In the last session, we studied the Blink code, one of the basic examples of Arduino. We turned on and off the LED on the Arduino board. And we also studied the uh, simple properties of the digital I.O. ports. In addition to the digital ports, there are analog I.O. ports as well. Analog I.O. ports are also very frequently used I.O. ports. So this time, we are going to talk about Arduino's analog input and output ports. Last time we learned that we could only give two values, 0 and 1, to the digital ports. But the signals we need to deal with are not just two signals, 0 and 1. For example, we may need to deal with a signal that has a continuous value between 0 and 5 volts. For example, like 1.2 volt, 3.6 volt, and so on and on. In this case, you can use this analog port. In many cases, many sensors use this analog signal. In other cases, this analog port of Arduino is also useful to control uh, the remote devices from a long distance. The analog Nano has eight analog input ports from A0 to A7, which can be compared to the six analog ports of Arduino. Here's the uh, technical specification. When you see it here, you will notice that there are two more analog ports, while the other uh, specs are exactly the same. Instead of continuing the boring explanation, I will show you an example of how analog port works. After you see it, when I explain it one by one, you will understand it much faster without losing your interest in Arduino. Actually, operating the analog port is also very simple. So, as we did earlier, you can go into the example menu from Arduino IDE. Here's the uh, Arduino IDE. You can go to the file menu and you can find the example here. Open the proper example file and just run it. I'd like to explain it one more time. First, you select a function or a sensor and then the thing you have to do is to make sure that the library is installed and then you would find an example code from the example menu and run the code to check that function or that sensor is really working. Don't ask, don't argue, just do it. Then you can understand everything after several trial. So here's your Arduino IDE. Go to the file menu and choose the example we are going to look at some of these basic examples. Let's select one of those basic examples. Uh, from these examples, I will select this analog read serial at the top. Then a new window pops up. Then you can choose the board Arduino you have and select the port. And port here. But unfortunately, I can't choose the port because I haven't connected it yet. I will try to connect it. Okay, here is my Arduino. Here is my Arduino. And you can connect this Arduino using this USB cable. Here it is. Then you can go back to Arduino IDE. I have connected my Arduino to my computer uh, and it will automatically be connected to some serial port. Let me check it. For my case, this is COM21. Maybe yours must be different or the same. Okay, that's it. Then just press this upload button since your analog read serial code is open already. Let's just press it. 
so the upload is comp upload is going on and you will see that yeah, it is unloading and the upload is completed what do we do now just the uh, example called Arduino uh, analog read serial here is to measure a value from a sensor with an analog port and, and send the uh, measured data to computer where your nanoboard is connected then you should look at the data right there's a way to do it you can see it by pressing this serial monitor button here let me let's just press it then a serial monitor window pops up yes there are numbers coming you'd see some rapidly and randomly changing values it's because there's nothing connected to the analog port right now the analog port in this case is A0 nothing is connected to this port yet so here we are going to connect a circuit to the port <laughs> don't be afraid of the circuit just follow me so find the regi uh, variable resistance that I gave you this is the uh, regi uh, variable register and insert it into the breadboard here like this yeah this is called variable resistance anyway just put this on your board you put this in like this you put this in like this okay, I will show you more in detail you put this in like this yeah if you press it and it goes in nicely yeah it goes in And then you are going to connect uh, this variable register using the jumper cable, particularly three jumper cables here, like this jumper cables. Uh, which I already gave you. And watch this and follow me carefully. First of all, if you put the variable register on the board, you plug a line uh, into the 5 volt pin of Arduino first. 5 volt pin, where it is? Where is it? Can you see that? Here is 5 volt pin. Yeah. If you look at your uh, board very carefully, you can find it very easily. I will connect this with the red cable here and then I will connect this I will change the connection of my variable register and I will put this cable into the last pin to connect the last pin of my variable register just like this you see that okay and then I will pick up a uh, black cable here and I will put this into the GND pin here can you see that GND pin yeah and I will plug it to the to the opposite uh, leg of variable register here like this can you clearly see that yeah I will show you more yeah this is connected like this okay and then select the other cable which is white in my case I will just plug it. I will uh, plug this cable into A0 pin of Arduino Nano and then I will connect it to the middle leg of 
variable register. Then all three legs of the variable registers are connected to Arduino. Here like this. Can you see that? Okay, I hope you can see everything. Then, let's go back to Arduino. Now, if you look at the serial monitor here, you can see that your reading is much more constant than before. Something like 508. That really depends. Yeah, your, your uh, Arduino must be reading something different value, but continuous value. What happened? What will happen when you dial the variable register? Because you can dial this uh, variable register. Yeah, if you turn that uh, variable register counterclockwise, then the value gets smaller and smaller, which eventually becomes zero. If you turn it clockwise again, it gets bigger and bigger, and finally, the value reaches up to 1023. Wow, it's working. It seems like we started to do something to Arduino. But you'd say, what the hell is this code? And what did this variable resistance do? We must be eager. You must be eager to hear about that, aren't you? I will explain it next time. Good luck, students.